There are currently more than 7 billion humans, which is a lot. However, we are all crammed together on this one planet. If something happened to Earth, our species could be wiped out. For example, the A4 mentioned asteroid impact. Colonizing other bodies in the solar system is a way to create a backup of humanity that will survive no matter what happens to Earth. To know better about this, we need space exploration, which helps us to address the fundamental question about our place in the universe and also the future plans. Having an alternative or securing yourself with a plan B option is a smart option. So let's understand why we need to become a two-planet species. Human-caused climate change is one of the threats to sustainability. Many physical impacts of climate change are already visible, including extreme weather events. glacier retreat etc natural hazards resulting from physical events are uncontrollable forces that impact the environment earthquake and volcanic eruptions can alter the earth's topology there are things circling the solar system that can impact the earth such as asteroid meteor or comet a cosmic impact is powerful enough to wipe out all life on earth's surface Let us look at the reasons why Mars is more favorable than any other planet. Firstly, Mars is 49 miles further away from the sun than the earth is, and Mars is moving slower than the earth and has a longer orbital path. Mars has similar tilt, therefore it has similar seasons. Mars diameter is about half of that of Earth's, and it is the second smallest planet in the solar system. Also, its soil contains water to extract and there is enough sunlight to use solar panels. Every plan has a loophole to fill and a smart team always look after that first. So the challenges we face in habitating Mars are first, Mars has 63% less gravity than Earth. This means you will wait 63% less on Mars. It also means it will be easy to jump higher on Mars. Mars is much colder than Earth with an average temperature of minus 81 degree Fahrenheit. Mars on average is colder than the Antarctic and drier than the Sahara. Humans could not survive breathing in the Martian atmosphere because it is 96% CO2 and 0.13% O2. Unlike Earth, Mars has no magnetic field which repels the unwanted radiations from the space. Terraforming Mars. It's a four-phase plan. First phase setting up large solar reflector which will heat up the surface and release h2o and co2 in the atmosphere second phase planting photosynthetic plants which will convert co2 into o2 and release them into the atmosphere third phase o2 is then broken up by the solar radiations and form the ozone layer and finally atmosphere will become thick enough to sustain life on mars